housing trends is something that is constantly evolving, but it is not easy to see. When you look sometimes at the development of a house, you might say that smart homes is the next future, but we've had smart homes for a decade or two. It was on television two or three decades ago being promoted. And even when you go today to look at homes, the technology hasn't yet quite evolved to a level where there's a consistency of usage. Yes, of course, we have a Siri and we have an Alexa and we have a smart door and a smart lock and a smart garage, but they're not always integrated. And when you use the one system, it's not compatible with another system. So I think the evolution of smart homes, we still as a society have to wrap our heads around and understand what does it mean? Does it mean that you can open and lock, close your front door? Or does it mean that your fridge will read the barcode and tell you if the milk is old? Or is it your bed that telling you that your heartbeat tonight when you were sleeping was the following? What is the definition of a smart home? We've had a few companies, large companies like Cowell Banker with a study on smart homes, trying to analyze that. We also put out a, a smart home study about a year ago, which can be downloaded for free, in which we've identified the key components of a smart home. It is usually security, lighting, convenience. So it, if we bring those elements to the house, are you willing to pay the extra five or 10 or 20,000, which will probably be required to put that into the house? Many cases, people are gonna say probably not yet. So smart homes, it's coming, probably gonna be slower than we all expect, probably only initially in the upscale and more expensive homes, because that's what the people that can afford it. The rest of us, I think we're still happy with a very basic house.